this is FPV of RC and today we will be doing a kind of a tutorial and some, a tip on how to prepare your foam core most likely flight test plane. So we have the FT Soar, Simple Soar right here and also I just like to say something really quick. I'm we're really sorry we haven't been able to get a video out in a while and our videos it's winter time in Canada right here and as you know uh, it gets very cold here. It's like minus 40 out right now. It's very hard to get flights in. It's harder to get videos, so we're really sorry for that. But anyway, we'll bring you a video here today, and our next video will be coming up very soon. It'll be a review on the Simple Soar. So let's get started. So basically, um, a really good tip by flight test um, is uh, check your crap on your plane. Um, so C stands for control surfaces. So we got to turn on our radio here. So we got to ch check our control surfaces to see if they work and also to see if they're damaged. So basically what you want to do is if I check my elevator, it's working fine. Up, down, up, down. And we'll try, uh, check our rudder. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now it's working fine. Now we're going to check our hinges, kind of. Check our servos to see if you try to pull it, doesn't let you. Try to push the elevator, doesn't let you. And you go check your uh, clevises right here. They should be tight. They're all good on here. All good there. And as you can see, we had a little bit of a going in with this plane. We kind of crashed it head first into the ground. And if you take this off, you can see that it's a little bit cut off. So we're going to show you how to repair that. And then we're going on to R in the crap, which is rips and tears. So I'll just turn the radio off. Uh, rips and tears. So as you can see, there are some rips and tears on the nose here. So I'm just going to take off this battery because we're done with the control services for now. We're going to go on to power system later, but for now, let's just unplug that. It makes it easier. But as you can see right here, the front has come off the poster board a little bit, and we have a couple rips here. So what you can do is you can take your um, hot glue um, and put, lay it on, this is a really good tip, on your, po on your foam core, on the part where it's going to touch the poster board, just like this. This is a really good way to do this. If you put it, lie it on a surface, and you take the um, uh, foam core, and you roll it onto the poster board like that, then you're going to get a nice tight fit, and it'll be all nice and clean, and the hot glue should dry within a couple minutes. So, once you got that finished drying, now what we're going to do is if you, this is a great tip too, is you take your hot glue gun, if you bring it around here, as you can see the paper has come off right there. So, and the foam is also loose. So if you put your glue right along there, need another glue stick. If you put your glue right in there, get it right in the crack, if you take a scrap piece of foam core and just rub it in there as much as you can and leave that to dry. So now that you have that dry, what you're going to want to do is there's a little flap pulled up here and I'm going to put the glue on straight onto the foam and you don't get too excessive. You don't want to burn through the foam. Actually, it's probably better if you have it on low temp. I have a, If you have a dual rate or if you have a high rate, you don't need to go to low temp, but don't get too excessive. And you just want to hold that on there. And while that's drying, what we can do is there are little rips on the top. It, it might be hard to see on the camera right here, but there are rips on this poster board that we need to fix. So if you take some scotch tape, just like this, and just get your scotch tape and put it on, you can fold it over just like that. And get it on. And there you have it. You got your rips and tears, well, sorry, your rips fixed on that side. We actually got it on the other side now. Forgot about that. 
Now we gotta do this side. Just like that. Okay, and there you have it. Now it's done. We're done. May, lo may not look as pretty as it first did, but it, it's certainly fixed. So now what we're gonna do is go on to our CR, we're on A, which is angles. And if I put, if I close the front nose up, as you can see, it's it, it looks a lot better now. The tape doesn't add, but I mean, you can always paint that over. So a good thing to do is check your angles by going like this and looking in reference to the tail. And the fuselage looks, if you look at it, straight on, looks pretty darn good. Actually, um, it looks good. Yeah, so now we, sorry, we need to check the angles of our wing. So a good way to do that is you hold it out and you go like this. The dihedral on this wing, check your dihedral, but you wanna get, you wanna figure out what that is and figure out, I, I've already checked it, so I'm not gonna do it in this video, I'm just showing you tips. Right where, this, this has polydihedral, but right where your dihedral ends, uh, on the simple soar should be two inches. And then fr out from there, at your polydihedral, from your dihedral mark, should be the two inches, uh, the same and the exact same on the other side. So this, this um, wing for the simple soar is good. And as you can see, we got our nice cheetah tape on there. So I'm gonna put the wing away for now. I think that we can get that out of the way. So now we're on to uh, CRAP which is the power, which is power system, but um, we don't have a motor on this right now. We're probably gonna add that later. But really all we need to check is our battery. And as you can see, our battery is absolutely fine from the control surfaces. But just to show you, we're gonna do this, plug it in. And a good thing to look for if you're, if you're new to this, if your battery is puffy, as you can see, this battery is not puffy. If your battery is puffy, that don't use your battery. Throw it away, dispose of it in a proper manner, and get a new one. Um, this battery is not puffy, as I just said. But basically, look, check if your wires are ripped. You can put electrical tape around that if, if they are, but ours is fine. You can check our controls again, and that should be good. So thank you for watching. Hope. You watch our next episode, which is the review on the FD Simple Store. Bye.